I love having the one-on-one -on -one interaction by having an advanced fellowship program that's so small um, that allows us to work very personally with our trainees in order to get them to really meet whatever needs or wants that they might have or that we might think that they need. And just watching our fellows develop from day one to day 365 has been absolutely incredible. Everybody just really thrives. My name is Sammy Chowkey. I'm the program director for the Advanced Cardiac Fellowship in Interventional Cardiology and Electrophysiology. I specifically am the program director for the Electrophysiology program, and our other program director, Paul Tanous, takes care of our Cardiac Cath Fellows. Since 2019, we've been a funded continuous program that alternates fellows between interventional cardiac catheterization and interventional electrophysiology. I would expect an EP fellow every odd year and a cath fellow every even year. Our heart center is has been growing over the past couple of decades and is now enormous with over 50 faculty. And both the cardiac cath fellows and the cardiac EP fellows have the opportunity to experience uh, working with the Heart Center across all of its different sections. Our team is incredible. We have five attendings who vary incredibly across the clinical and academic spectrum, and we expect that our fellows would have interest in gaining knowledge of EP across all of those uh, areas, including uh, inherited arrhythmia disorders, as well as device management, and of course, our interventional EP. EP crosses over with all of these different uh, aspects of cardiac care that we take care of here at Larry Children's. And so specifically, our cardiomyopathy and heart transplant team is very, very busy, and we cross over with them quite frequently. But we also have a lot of crossover with our adult congenital population and other patients who get referred to us from the region, the state, um, and beyond. We don't really turn away patients here, and so you get the opportunity to really see all different types of cardiac pathologies and the arrhythmia issues that come alongside them. As an electrophysiology fellow, we offer procedures that vary across the entire board. We uh, have all of the most uh, up-to-date technologies for interventional electrophysiology. We have every type of ablation you could imagine. We do device implantations, and we offer clinical cardiac electrophysiology training, which is providing consult care in the cardiac care unit, as well as throughout the whole hospital, as well as doing outpatient medicine. As an interventional fellowship, we do focus on the interventions, and we expect that the fellows would be scrubbed into every interventional case throughout the year, and that's to build up as much experience as you can, given the limited amount of time that we have available. However, as of now, we're ablating and implanting devices approximately two days per week, which leaves three days per week to pursue other clinical and academic endeavors. And between the different attendings in EP, as well as beyond our EP section, we're able to help support any sort of academic endeavors that you might be interested in, whether it be basic science, which would really need to be something that would probably take more than those 12 months of the EP fellowship, uh, along with clinical research, education opportunities, and administrative opportunities. So any of those interests can begin to be peaked here during this fellowship, and we would expect that our fellows be able to continue to hone those interests and push the field further wherever they move on to afterwards. I think uh, the Heart Center works very, very well together. Our group is big enough that we're able to talk to everyone, to have people on service all the time that allows that crossover of care across all the different sections within cardiology. And then the Heart Center is just one section of the larger community at Lurie Children's. I think the culture here is very, very friendly overall. I think that people are not afraid to talk to each other. I think people are not afraid to make their opinions known and that is never really taken as a offensive um, approach. And so I think uh, the culture does allow for everyone to really work together in a healthy and happy way. I think over the past several years especially, 
Lurie Children's has really taken uh, a stance and has moved forward with implementing different programs, different educational programs for attendings as well as for trainees, as well as taking a stance on making sure that we think about uh, diversity, equity, and inclusion as we move forward in our hiring processes and uh, in our care of our patients. Chicago is an absolutely amazing city to live in uh, and to play in and to work in. I love being able to just jump out of the hospital and be on the lakefront in minutes. Um, and the entertainment, the food, everything is just so enjoyable and it really, really can make for a wonderful place to live. Thanks so much for your interest in our fellowship program. We hope to hear from you.